Griffin, just uh, the emotions for you guys in the locker room after doing what you did today, winning the elimination game earlier, then performing tonight. What what was it like in that dugout when, when you guys got the final out? Oh, it was nothing but pure joy and happiness. Uh, we all love each other, and we're not ready to be done yet. Um, but we got to come back tomorrow and win a game. Evan? Griffin, can you walk us through your base hit there? I mean, there was a strikeout before that, two outs. What did you see, and, and how did that uh, come to pass? Um, yeah, uh, Coach Bolt told me to stay on the fastball and not, you know. And I took it, and I was just waiting for that fastball. And, yeah, just really just trusting my approach and slowing the moment down, trying not to let it get too much to me and putting a good swing on the ball. You guys have talked about that all year, about not letting the moment get too big and falling back on your training and things like that. Highest level, you know, this is an electric atmosphere. Fans were on their feet, you know, do or die game for us. So I think all the preparation that we've had leading up to this really uh, showed showed tonight. Michael. Griffin, what did you kind of see from I mean, what, what was what were you seeing from your vantage point there? Oh yeah, he was locked in. He was he was ready to go from the first pitch. He's a guy you're never gonna have to, you know, kick and get going. He's he's kind of like a energizer bunny out there and he was ready to roll. He wasn't scared, you know, he didn't let the moment get too big for him either. And he was he filled up the zone for us and Hey Griffin, you kind of touched on the atmosphere or atmosphere earlier. Uh, kind of, how did you guys handle that as a team, and and just like how were you guys able to kind of tone that out throughout the game? Oh yeah, uh, obviously when we play at home, Haymarket Park's got a similar atmosphere. Uh, not quite as many people, but but familiar, familiar with the atmosphere. So we just tried to tone it out as much as we could. It wasn't something crazy that we weren't used to. The biggest difference was that they were rooting against us, but we're, we're used to the atmosphere back at home. Scotty. What did you make of Spencer's outing tonight? And, and what about him makes it tough on hitters to, to turn much around on him? Um, yeah, he was dominant today. He's always dominant for us. He's been our guy all year. And, you know, I wouldn't want anyone else with the ball there at the end of the game to put them away. And he, uh, he's got he's got velocity. He's got a plus slider. He's got a plus change. It's hard to time up his fastball as well. Let me know if you've got more questions in the chat. Chris? Griffin, it's just kind of epitomized the, the don't care slogan that you guys have kind of had all year, just with uh, everything that went on tonight on the bases, everything else. Do this again. Oh, uh, you know, just do what we did today. Come out with no fear, ready to attack the moment and make the most of it. Last one, Evan. You mentioned the base running mistakes that, some, that, that were out there a little bit tonight. For yours at second base, there's were uh, deeper than they were. And off the bat, I saw he hit a line drive, and I guess the ball just carried more than I thought. My initial read was go score, get a run. And then as I realized I was too far away, that he was going to catch it. So. Yeah, I just need to be a little more locked in on there and know where the outfielders are a little better. All right, we'll get Spencer Schwellenbach in here next.